Today we're going to be doing a kind of printmaking called a collagraph. Here's an example of a collagraph plate that I made with cardboard and glue. Now, here is a rubbing that I've taken of that same plate. The plate is used to make many copies, either using rubbings with crayon or paint. To do this project, you'll need some thin paper to make your prints, some thin cardboard like a notebook backing or a cereal box or cardstock. You'll need a crayon if you'd like to take a rubbing. You'll need some scissors, some glue. Mod Podge is also really great for this. And you'll also need a paintbrush to spread your glue around. You can make any kind of collagraph print you want but I'm going to be making one of an animal that I like, and this is a chickadee. To create my chickadee print, I want to think of all the simple shapes that I can make and cut them out of individual pieces of cardboard, and then I'll be gluing them down. Okay, now I've got all my pieces glued down and I'm going to wait for the glue to dry and to take a rubbing I'll just simply put a piece of paper over top and use the side of a crayon that's been unwrapped to rub over all the surfaces. You'll notice that there will be a little bit of extra markings outside the edge of your bird but that's totally okay. You can also continue to fill the background with shapes of cardboard as well. I just kept mine really simple for the sake of this tutorial. Notice my paper's getting stuck a little because I cheated. I didn't let my glue dry, but you should let yours dry before you make a print. You can also add watercolor over this collagraph rubbing print. Another choice you could do is take glue and cover over the entire surface of your plate. This will allow you to seal your shapes in a little bit better so that you can try adding a collagraph hand pulled print using paint. So I'm going to cover this whole surface. If you do your background, cover that whole surface as well and wait a really long time, preferably overnight, for your glue to dry. If you'd like to make a hand pulled print, take any paint you have on hand, acrylic, tempera, poster paint, and brush it on in one even thin coating. Make sure you get it in all the little nooks and crannies. And then take a piece of thin paper, place it on top, and work pretty quickly. If you take a long time to do this process, 
the glue might start to become rehydrated and stick. So I'm pulling this off and you can see my hand pulled print. And here you can compare my rubbing to my hand pulled print. And the lovely thing about these Collagraph printing plates is you can make lots and lots of copies of rubbings or prints. And I think that the printing plate itself, after you print it a few times, becomes a piece of work that is really beautiful also. I hope you'll give Collagraph printing a try, whether it's just to make a rubbing with crayon or to try a hand-pulled print using paint. This process can be as complex as you'd like to make it. You can create elements in the background and the foreground, as well as add textural elements from nature, like seeds and leaves and sand, as long as you seal them in really well with Mod Podge or glue and let them dry overnight. Happy printmaking! I hope you enjoy this process as much as I do.